What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys like this video, like it. I don't really care, but like apparently they get put in recommended. So just like every other video, I'm going to be doing a quick condoma trick. And if I spike it first try, you guys have to hit the like button. All right, that's my little deal for you guys. So let's do it. First key with Kobe. So today's video is a top five video, and you guys are probably like, it's not my video to no. Well, too bad. You guys only really like my top five videos. You guys only really like my sit down videos. I filmed a vlog, post this vlog, and you guys barely were giving it any attention. So, like, actually, you know what? I'm getting really ungrateful. My videos did so good, and then when I start to get videos that just do good, I'm getting like ungrateful. Well, they're not doing good enough. Not doing as well as my other videos, but so what? I'm gonna keep pushing forward and make content for you guys because you guys really seem to enjoy it. And you guys are DMing me on Instagram saying like really nice things, so I really appreciate that. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram, you might as well. I'm talking about it right now. I'll put it on the screen. So as you guys seen in the title and the thumbnail, no duh, this video is about the top five best scooter riders that fell off. And actually, it's not gonna be the best scooter riders that fell off. It's just gonna be like scooter riders that fell off. It's gonna be like one to five, but like. I'm not doing any order. I'll put like number one to be like the most disappeared oh scooter rider that like nobody sees. And then number five to be like a scooter rider that people like Hi, see I'm but like just shit. fell off. I don't even know. Before we get into this, I'm not putting people like Tanner Fox and Jake Andrews on this list. Because it's kind of a no-brainer. They didn't really fall off. The closest thing we're going to get to them is probably number five on this list. So let's start at number five. It's Jacob DeRezzo. And Jacob DeRezzo, don't get me wrong, he's a god at scootering. This guy was a beast. He rode for like Fast and Mad Gear. So I'll put some clips of him on the screen. He was probably one of my favorite riders he did like five player bar whip he was the world's first person to do that which is a super crazy chick the reason jacob drezzo fell off in my opinion is probably because he just got bored of scootering i know there was times where he like injured himself like his leg is like in really bad shape he just kept breaking his leg and had to get titanium in it and i know that's partly probably why he quit because i remember he posted a long time ago when he broke his leg he's like i'm quitting scooters for good blah 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 and everyone's just like no 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 and he even dropped fast and i remember making a meme it's like he dropped fast and just so he could pick up his crutches yeah, I know, it was pretty too soon. If I had to rate him out of five stars, I'd probably give Jacob Drezzo five stars because he's just that good at screen. The reason he probably got bored of riding is because he's been riding that same indoor skate park over and over and over. Easy grind, he just rides that park every day. He definitely got bored of riding there. Another reason why he quit, his parents are loaded, pretty rich. They own an indoor skate park and a scooter shop. And he probably just doesn't look at screen as like a career opportunity at this point. He probably thinks like he's set for life because like, you know, his parents are rich. He also has other interests. Brother is into cars and kind of got him into cars and a lot of Scooter riders kind of like dip out for cars. Examples, Maverick Leonard dip for cars, Funk Bros kind of dip for cars. I have nothing against that. So let's just get right into number four on this list. Number four is going to be Spanner and Spanner is pretty new. Like you guys just kind of like discovered Spanner not too long ago. He is a beast on a scooter. He's one of those Corby kids that can literally just do any trick in the world. Shout out to Corby kids. They're better than probably 99% of the earth on scootering. I mean, Corby's a really good skate park. So that's probably why they're so good. Like this ramp right here, I remember making a meme. It's just like, if your trick has been done on this ramp, then it never really happened. Because the ramp is just probably so easy to do tricks on. Which, think, a double backflip quint whip has been done on that ramp. So Spanner was like just popping off on Instagram, getting tons of views, tons of attention. He's kind of like a half bars doppelganger. One of those Corby kids gets bare views, super good. He was riding those, you know, red Air Force Ones, super sick guy, everyone loved him. Then all of a sudden, kind of like started to go downhill. I remember he had some problems with his family and like they were arguing, kick him out of the house and stuff. I shouldn't really get into that, it's none of my business. This kid did have like some family problems and I remember his parents were apparently trying to get him to be a robot and Spanner's little definition of a robot is someone that has like a regular job like a doctor lawyer construction worker anyone that doesn't like chase their passion to make a living pretty much is a robot to him I think that's pretty sus to say because like these people aren't really robots they're just getting a job so they can make money and make a living I know you probably want to make millions off the but like not everyone can we're all robots all right deep down we're all robots Spanner was super good at scootering I'll put some clips of him on the screen he was a beast also not too long ago I'm pretty sure he lost access to his Instagram, so I'm pretty sure that's kind of why he fell off a little bit. I think Spanner was a god at scootering. He has so much potential to do big things. I think his YouTube channel just needs to pop off and he could just be like the next Raymond Warner, Claudius, you know, just getting bare views and bare money. I feel like Spanner has a bright future ahead of him if he just puts his mind to it. And number three on this list, we're going to be talking about someone that I talk about a fair bit, and that's Gus Reimer. So this guy, he was like on top of the scooter game. 2015, 2014, he was making scootering and supermarket videos. <laughs> ALS, I just fucking challenge. <laughs> Riding flat in his house. He was so sick, making the sickest edit. Gus Reimer 2015 edit is probably the best edit ever. It's my favorite edit. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll put the link in the description. He was so good at scootering. He was like amazing at park, amazing at street. He was in Mad Gear Flat Scoot. 
He was winning games and like he just all of a sudden fell off. He just went to college, kind of got into like party life and just fell off. He made an announcement on Facebook a long time ago. I don't know if I'll ever find it again. He just kind of said how he was depressed and just like not feeling himself because like he never posted for months. Everyone's like, where's Gus? Where's Gus? I remember DMing his family, like asking, where is he? And nobody would respond. And then all of a sudden he just came up with that message and everyone was just like, whoa. No one had any idea. He does scooter every now and again. He left Mad Gear. Now he's riding for like lead. He's like still so good. I just feel like if he consistently scootered, he could probably pick up new sponsors that could pay him a living. Not really a living, but like he could start a YouTube channel or something, but it is his life. So he can do whatever he wants. He doesn't want to start a YouTube channel. Doesn't have to. But I really miss Gus. He was probably my favorite rider of all time until he quit. Kind of just like fell off. But like huge shout out to you, Gus. If you're watching this, man, I love you. Like you're like probably my biggest inspiration in screen. Let's just get past this. So number two on this list is, oh yeah, number two on this list is Jeremy Mallet, and you guys probably know Jeremy Mallet from that Game of Scoot with Austin Quentz. He kind of obliterated Austin Quentz in Game of Scoot when they were both on Razor. Then they both left Razor and got an MGP. So Jeremy Mallet was a scooter rider for the longest time. He's super good. I remember he did like a 540 flare over a spine, like or would it be a five back? And yeah, he was super good. He was probably most famous for that clip. It's like he was a really good scooter rider. Everyone loved Jeremy Mallet, right? But then all of a sudden, he's just like, Yo, I'm quitting for biking. Okay. It blew everyone's mind. Everyone's like, whoa, he just randomly quit scootering for biking. I don't know. I feel like he probably would have got more love if he kept scootering, but like it's his interests, his decisions. He can do whatever he wants. He kind of just like quit for biking, just got tattoos everywhere, and he could be a monster right now. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure he's like on monster, but I don't really remember. I don't know what he's on. Probably pads. No, I'm kidding. He just like totally jumped out of scootering right into BMX scene. Who else has done that out of pros? So number one on this list is the most notorious scooter rider of all time. This guy is hiding away in a basement somewhere. No one ever sees this guy. He comes out once in a blue moon just for a street jam. Once a decade, he'll come out of the shelf, and that's Big Ron. You guys probably know Big Ron for being so big, but this guy's legit the same height as me. He's only 6'1". I don't know why people call him Big Ron. Maybe because he goes big. This guy's hit massive rails. I'm pretty sure he's heel whip natural, but he's like heel whip boring giant rails heel front lipping rails he's hit like the hollywood he's so sick like i remember this guy was like the mascot of scooter he comes out every once in a while i saw him on like neckbeard story a while ago he's like at street jams like just showing up i feel like he's just out there with a full-time job somewhere just working and he can't ride all the time everyone loved big ron i remember like everyone used to say this get some wax and call big ron you know what i mean if there's a giant rail they'd be like yo get some wax and call big ron because like he'd hit anything he just went huge nowadays it's like Big Ron, like what happened to the guy? Does he even have Instagram? Like someone tell me, does this guy even have Instagram? I swear to God, if he had Instagram, he was like posting clips all the time. Oh, that'd be so sick. Like you could get a following Big Ron. So if you're watching this Big Ron, probably aren't, you're probably at work somewhere, but like you have so much potential. Everyone loves you. So like you should definitely get on that Insta grind, bro. Guys, I'm already finished filming that video. This is just gonna be a little unboxing I'm gonna do in the middle of it. This is probably the backpack that I ordered. Yeah, let's just get right into it. I hope I can open it without having to use a knife for scissors but like I've been waiting for this thing for a while I got it for a fat steal like a really good price I got it on grilled it's just the backpack has like a few rips and it's like peeling in spots yeah oh it comes in a supreme bag this is good this guy okay, let's see it. so here are the flaws yeah so right up here I thought it's like ripping yeah that's the problem with the bag the rest of the bag is in like perfectly fine condition. Yeah, it's a sweet bag. I'm glad I got it. I have a blue one right now and like I'm kind of sick of wearing the same blue backpack. I've had it for like almost a year now. Pretty sure this guy washed it. Shout out to the, whoever sent me this. I think his name is William. Pretty nice guy. I'm just going to try it on real quick. It has nothing in it so it's going to look weird as hell. You already know you got to flex on all those haters and yeah, now I got a Supreme bag hanging up on my wall in my bedroom like everyone else does. I'm just kidding. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know stupid sit down videos, but like, come on, we got an unboxing in the Stanger and like, look how cool this backpack is. Supreme and 3M, it's so cool. Like, I'm so glad I got it. Make sure you guys subscribe for more videos, more content, more cool stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.